Pasolini, you have launched a single-handed attack on institutions, ideologies, individuals, forces. But to simplify the discussion, let's call this the situation, the general state of affairs you are fighting against. But let's say that your imagination harbors some magical powers. You could wave your hand and all of it would disappear. Everything that you hate. What about you? You wouldn't be left alone without any means. Yes, I see. Um, these magic powers, not only do I use them, but I believe in them. Not because I consider myself some kind of sorcerer, but just because I know that pounding away on the same nail can bring down a house. The few people that have changed history are not the sycophants or the cardinal's retinue. They're the people who said no. Refusal has always been a crucial gesture, but to be effective, it has to be great, absolute, absurd. Common sense never stopped the situation. So, we have three questions. What is the situation? Why should it be stopped or destroyed? And in what way? Then, to describe the situation. You're well aware that your writings, your language, have the effect of sunlight filtering through dust. Beautiful, but hard to understand. Oh, thank you for the image of the sunlight, but I ask for much less. I'm asking you simply to look around and see the tragedy. What is the tragedy? The tragedy is there are no more human beings. There are only strange machines colliding into each other. And this tragedy starts with the universal, compulsory, perverted system of education that shapes all of us from the the so-called ruling class right down to the poor. It pushes us towards the arena of having things, everything, at any cost. That's why we all want the same things and behave in the same way. So, if I have access to a political committee or inside stock information, I use that, or I use a crowbar. And when I use that crowbar, I work my violence so I can get what I want. Why do I want it? because they have told me it's a virtue to want it. I'm expressing my right, my virtue. I'm an assassin and a good man. But now, people don't stop short of murder. In this changing landscape, there's a death wish that binds us together like brothers, all caught up in a sinister failure of an entire social system that produces a race of gladiators that are trained to have, possess, and destroy. Then you have us three little shepherd boys without education, ignorant, and happy. The uh, way you put it, it sounds like nonsense. Let me be frank with you. I've been to hell, and I know things that don't disturb other people's dreams. But let me warn you, hell is rising towards you. It's true, it comes under different banners and behind different masks. We're all victims and we're all guilty. The urge, the need to swing a crowbar, to attack, to kill, it's powerful. And it's in all of us, but it will no longer remain just the private, risky experience of those who, how shall I say it, uh, have touched the violent life. Stop kidding yourselves. You and your schools, your television, your complacent newspapers, you are the great preservers of this appalling tradition that is based on the idea of possessing and destroying. Then, return to my original question. With a wave of your hand, you abolish everything. Educational system, elected officials, television itself. If you do away with all of this, what will you have left? Everything. I'll have everything. Myself, my life, my life in the world, 
seeing, working, understanding, my books, my films. I think I would make films even if I was the last free man. Maybe I could make films because I need to. I like it, I feel like it, so I do it. I, I either kill myself or I do it. I, I make films, that way I express myself. If my expression is alienated, so what? At least I'm expressing myself as free as possible. I don't want to talk about myself anymore. I already said too much. Everyone knows I pay the consequences for my actions. Maybe I'm wrong, but I just want to say that we're all in danger. If this is your view of life, I don't know if you accept the question. How do you plan to avoid the danger and the risk that you describe? It's late. Uh, we should stop. Uh, perhaps you could leave the questions with me. I think some of the points are flat. I'd like to think about them. I feel much more comfortable writing than talking like this. I can make some notes and get them to you tomorrow. Do you have a title? What about we're all in danger? <laughs>